Hello and welcome to this introduction to the Finn Rural Lab at Kameshwaram Village, Tamil Nadu, India. Now, our vision is to make all rural and urban zones clean and healthy places to live in. And uh, towards this vision, our mission in the Rural Lab is to support and motivate the local community to make Kameshwaram village a model one. What does that mean? It means using toilets instead of uh, defecating in the open. It means having all public places clean instead of the present state where various fields and parts of the beach are used as a public ground, public dumping ground. And to practice proper community waste management instead of instead of burning or burying waste which even the panchayat does team does after collecting the waste from the village the idea is to therefore try out experiments to help the community and uh, share the knowledge generated with the outside world towards the indian and also the global development agenda of circular economy so we have six core activities which i will go through now the first is to improve the water and waste management infrastructure because unless there is access to water access to functioning toilets public bins and household bins how can you practice uh, efficient hygiene behavior secondly we also are going strong into environmental education. This is called the Green Academy Project to change value systems of future citizens. So we are teaching, we are intervening in creches, primary schools, middle schools, and we are also inviting university students to engage with us either through online, online internships, or in-house village internships and you see another feature that distinguishes the green academy project from the existing environmental education given in schools is that it is gamified it's inside the classroom outside the classrooms it involves actions okay like cleaning up the beach it involves playing games using football to learn about hygiene behavior to make christmas trees out of uh, discarded plastic bottles to know which plants grow in the locality and what are their uses even though they might be prickly to recognize the local birds to engage the community of parents in making the school space a green one and to take children on nature hunts treasure hunts and these are the different kinds of activities so we the aim is to develop a, an educational program so that children don't realize that they're actually learning and also prepare tests that don't stress anyone because the child should not even recognize or realize that it's actually being tested you know the idea is to really make a deep impact have deep learning for global citizenship then we also have you see focusing on the women we have various classes that will help their employability skills and basically their status in the village i've forgotten to put that in addition to cycling there will be motorcycling and scooter classes and spoken english english is the language of power in many parts of the developing world and uh, there is no access to learning this language in the usual schools uh, though all the politicians and uh, public servants not to mention corporate heads send their children to private schools where english is uh, taught right from kindergarten then of course everybody wants to be digitally literate the first thing is to learn how to type and to type fast and tailoring is also very useful especially 
uh, since we can it, it allows you to reuse and refurbished clothes and even transform them into other useful articles which again helps to uh, to put the the transition towards a circular economy and then we have community actions like trash walks beautification of public uh, places you see because so that we have uh, works of beauty and by not by artists but by the residents themselves so we have this beautification of bus stops project in kameshwaram we also conduct workshops for children giving them an opportunity especially uh, children from different communities to come together regardless of caste creed and religion to learn about sustainability, make crafts, enjoy themselves, learn songs, etc. Then we also have community workshops. My favorite one is the one for the green workers or the waste pickers of the village. And they are usually very happy and very emotionally moved to be given respect and to have a day consecrated to their welfare. And then of course, community actions uh, also require timely actions for emergencies like the COVID pandemic, where we have been uh, diffusing information on vaccination measures to take. Now we'll be doing one on Omicron and we walk the talk by setting an example for which we have been recognized. Now, we have these demonstration plots of sustainability practices, all which go to uh, you know, reducing, reusing or recycling waste or protecting nature. So we have effective microorganisms to, to, facilitate, uh, to facilitate composting and also used to clean toilets. We all practice composting, myself included. These beautiful mats are made from waste cloth given by tailors, which would other, otherwise go to landfills. We are gathering, you see, non-biodegradable um, plastics that would otherwise go to landfills and using them to make pathways for racing tracks, running tracks. And uh, then we are growing organic vegetables and we are using these are oil covers to make bags and so forth. All again towards sustainability transitions toward the circular economy. Then we are also doing uh, community research. So far, I've been doing research for my academic articles, but now the idea is to really help the government have a better vision and better understanding and more robust data on, uh, on the status in the field by ourselves engaging citizens and training them to take, uh, to take measures and to fill in the indicators required so that we have a good idea of the status of water sanitation, waste management and hygiene behavior at the village level. So thank you very much and uh, hope you will continue to support us. Hello, I am Avishak Pathak. We hope you enjoyed getting to know us. If you are interested in working with us, then you can contact me at 8709369285 or you can drop an email to pintrust.india at the rate gmail.com. Thank you so much.